don't know about you, but I got a hard time rooting against my team. Some Patriots fans were in that situation on this night and will be for the remainder of the season because a lot of them don't feel like they have the quarterback of the future. And sitting at two wins with a loss keeps you right on pace with that first overall pick with the Bears via Carolina. But a win, not getting the mix of those three and four win teams. Joining the conversation to explore CBS Sports NFL draft analyst Ryan Wilson. Uh, Ryan, simply put here, impact of tonight's result for New England is what? Hey, they're still in the race for a quarterback. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> a little, uh, another win in the in the win column for Bill Belichick as he chases Don Shula's record. But unlike last week, where the Cardinals go into Pittsburgh and win and fall out of the number two spot mm -hmm. and potentially lose out on Marvin Harrison Jr., Patriots win a game and stay put. So that's a best case scenario in terms of what they're trying to do. And look, we talked about this last year with the Houston Texans show that two first round picks, including the number two overall pick. And Spielman talked about this on the podcast. You cannot come out of that draft if you're the Houston. Texas without a quarterback because there were some conversations that they, did, they didn't like CJ, they liked Bryce. Obviously, they took CJ. Same conversation this time around with the New England Patriots, no matter what happens on the rest of the world. They can win out or lose out. You cannot come out of this draft without a quarterback if you're the New England Patriots. So, like I said, win-win tonight. You got the victory on the field and you still remain number two, so you'll have your pick of either Caleb or Drake May or maybe Jaden Daniels if that's the flavor of quarterback you like. Yeah, and that's the thing. Now you still are in a position where you can jump up one spot with Chicago and you have to give up King's ransom to get that number one spot because you don't want any other team to usurp you to get the guy that you want. If you have a chance to go get the guy you want, whether that's Caleb Williams, whether that's Jaden Daniels, whoever the quarterback may be, you can go up to one and get your guy and give Chicago either picks or players and or players. So winning tonight still helps you out in the long term, in my opinion. Uh, Ryan, we don't need an advanced scout on the entire quarterback class, but I feel like the conversation has been very top heavy, weighted to uh, Caleb Williams and Drake May. And maybe we start talking about some of these other names that'll be sitting there on Saturday waiting for a Heisman potentially. But if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, what is that sweet spot if you're trying to add depth to your quarterback room? I'm laughing, Joe, because you and I have joked about this conversation as well. Two first-round picks and T.J. Watt to go to number one and get Caleb Williams is best-case scenario. Sign right here, uh, please. But I think if you're the Steelers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I think if you're the Steelers, and, and we know that they're an organization that is set in their ways, and, and sometimes that's good. They've only had three coaches since 1969. Tomlin's been there since 2007. And I think that holds with the quarterback situation. They're going to give Kenny Pickett almost certainly one more year. He'll be in year three next year. We haven't learned a lot about him this year because of the offensive coordinator situation and being in flux and Kenny Pickett hasn't really progressed much as a result. But if you're the Steelers, you're not going to be in the quarterback conversation unless you continue to play the way you played and you find yourself picking in maybe range 11 to 15. And then, look, man, there's names like Michael Penix Jr., who's going to be in the Heisman Trophy. He's a finalist. He'll be in the conversation Saturday night in New York City to see whether he wins that award. That's seriously something you have to consider. I would expect the Steelers go somewhere like offensive of line, maybe cornerback, maybe wide receiver if Deontay Johnson and or George Pickens aren't going to be there long term. Uh, I think Steelers fans would love to see a quarterback there, but I think the reality is it's going to be a position either like a cornerback or an edge rusher or, or certainly an offensive lineman to help out Kenny Pickett going forward. Before everyone got on board with what I was talking about in the summer, Jaden Daniels would have been perfect for Pittsburgh where they were going to be projected to pick. That was going to be my surprise first round pick. But I got some options. What if Chicago wants to move over or move off of Justin Fields? That's an option and Avenue Pittsburgh can go behind. How about Spencer Rattler and maybe day two? He's going to go down to the Senior Bowl and he's going to have a great week. People are going to remember that he can really spin the football. He plays aggressive. I feel like Pittsburgh right now is not playing aggressive in their passing game. Rattler makes a lot of sense. Or how about America's quarterback? Jameis Winston could give them what they mm. want in the backup, a capable backup that can also start still young enough to do so, still has that great arm, still has the aggressiveness in the passing game, and it gives you a chance to see what else you have in uh, Kenny Pickett for one more season before you go to America's quarterback and throw him in there. So there's some options for Pittsburgh. But I think Rattler, Daniels make a lot of sense, and it wouldn't surprise me to see them call Chicago to see what their temperature is with Justin Fields. Look at that man's face. Take his temperature. Pittsburgh is hanging on a thread by run right now, and you're and you're suggesting Jameis Winston. I mean, America's quarterback is always a good time, but I don't know if it's the time that Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh that is, is looking for right now. Uh, Ryan Wilson, Emery Hunt, we appreciate you guys, as always, for giving us your thoughts as it pertains to 
this year's upcoming draft. And there's only one way for you to get ready for the upcoming draft. That's with the first pick. Ryan Wilson, Rick Spielman sitting down, talking top prospects as the college season comes to a close. The reality grows closer. Download, subscribe, and enjoy with the first pick.